This is part of a pilot project to see how small energy devices like electric vehicle chargers can be added together and put towards the grid. These are the first two resources to qualify, but it doesn't seem like they'll be the last. The Public Utility Commission of Texas announced two virtual power plants are now able to provide power to the electric grid. These virtual power plants are bundles of small devices like backup generators and electric vehicle chargers owned by consumers. Bundles have to be less than one megawatt. So to put that in perspective, that could be anywhere from uh, 300 to 600 homes, uh, you know, basically consume a megawatt. But um, so there's going to be a lot of little individual premises, either uh, homes or businesses that are participating in those bundles. An energy expert unaffiliated with the PUC told CBS Austin that these virtual power plants are a small step, but have the potential to one day add flexibility to the grid. And Commissioner Will McAdams with the PUC says we need that flexibility. The reason is, is because as we have higher levels of uh, wind generation and solar generation, those resources tend to ramp down either on a predictable basis or an unpredictable basis. So you need flexible generation to be able to ramp up and kind of maintain power levels. Right now, demand is tight. We're facing extreme heat and we lose solar power when the sun goes down. Additionally, we're also experiencing low wind power generation. This is the prime time to get help from the bundles. But they'll help us fill the gap between when the sun sets and whenever the wind begins to pick up again. Those who participate in the pilot project are compensated and it varies depending on what retailer they're working with and how much power they're providing. Jessica Taylor, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.